Hi, and welcome to part three. In the previous part, uh, in part two, we I was showing you how to uh, use a morph to activate this fracture uh, pattern that we did on here. And uh, so now what I want to do is do a little bit of, um, let me delete that. And um, let me go to uh, here, deform. Remove more normal, normal displacement. Let's get rid of our shattered effect. Now let's go to um, FX and let's see. Before I do, let's add something else here. Let's go to um, let's add a new item and uh, let's see what we're going to add here. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's go under Add More Dynamic Object Collision. And let's call this one Ground. Okay, and we'll make it a flat plane. And the radius level to zero. Something like that. And a bounce power, let's give it a very low bounce like this. And let me check it from here. Okay, I want to drop this down. below that, like right about there, slightly below. Okay. And then let's select my shattered object there. And P for properties. Let's go to uh, FX. And we're going to do hard link. And again, this is something that will work in any version of LightWave since LightWave 8, I believe, since Dynamics were added. Um, I know there's a bullet in LightWave 11, but I wanted to show, uh, because the principles are the same, but I wanted to show something that can be used in, in pretty much any version of LightWave since 8. Okay, so we've, we're going to apply hard effects to that. And we leave it in parts mode, or, you know, where it says piece, leave it in parts. We have these other things here we can do. This is leave it in parts. And um, let's see what we can do. Um, what else? Gravity. Minus 9, because it's minus 9 meters per second, which is the normal force of gravity. And let's see what else we can do. Uh, we'll pretty much leave everything as is. Let's do a really quick calculation on this. Okay. And you can just see it barely drop onto the our plane, which is good. So I want to go to add an, another item. I'm going to do this a simple way, dynamic object collision. And we'll call this... Um, Explode. Okay. And what we're going to do is on frame zero, we're just going to shift H and size it down. Actually, let's make sure that I did that properly. Modify. I'm going to go to, I'm going to use size. Yeah, that was it. Size. Let's go ahead and get it down real small. Chief remove. And this is bring it down below like that. And then see on frame 30, or even frame 15, I want this to be quick. Okay, 
shift H. Let's do that and bring it up slightly. Okay, so we're, we're sizing up this collision object. So it seems to go boom, like this. All right. So we're good with that. And let's go back to our object we're going to explode. And let's see, uh, group up uh, its default. Uh, weight, we're good. We just we're good. We're just going to leave it a uh, negative nine for gravity collision. No exclusive collision. We're going to do collision by node. Collision node all. And we're going to say start by collision with um, start by collision. Okay. And let's this is hit calculate. Boom. So let's scroll through that and see if we can see it kind of break apart. Just see, pretty simple. Okay, and there's there's a bunch of other things we're going to adjust, but the main thing I wanted to show you was that you can now just go in there with a simple collision object and just blow it apart. So we can see this from different angles too. So you can kind of see what's going on with that. Okay, so that can give you a pretty good idea what you can do just with the basic tools. So if you don't have a version of, if you have an earlier version of Lightwave for say uh, 11 or 10, and you still want to be able to, you know, chop up something to be able to, to blow it to pieces, then this is a uh, one way you can do that. Um, but I would also experiment with uh, doing a similar thing with Booleans if you want more, you know, if you want to do it to buildings or something like this. But uh, you should be able to get to, uh, the hardest part is getting the the uh, the thickness to it, but uh, not not too difficult to do. So, anyways, we'll stop here, and uh, I'll uh, go ahead and upload this for you guys.